Welcome to LGN. I'm your host, Brian Chadwick. Senior Gabe Jones took a part in his mom's fifth grade class on Monday when he helped the class cook scones and make tea on Zoom while learning about the Boston Tea Party. So let's get on a call with Gabe Jones. Hi Gabe, how you doing? I'm here, Ronaldo. How's it going? Good. Uh, so I heard a lot about uh, this uh, whole tea party thing that you were doing for uh, with your mom. Uh, yeah. So just trying to keep kids interacted online is kind of hard. So what we've been doing is we're trying to make things fun for them. So when they're learning about like the American Revolution and learning about the Boston Tea Party, we actually had a tea party for them. So they had their own. They made their own scones. They learned how to brew their own tea, and they sat around and talked about um, how class is going. Well, thank you so much for dropping by. Congratulations to our ceramic student, Jasmine Fafani, who won the National Silver Medal for her ceramics work. Jasmine was chosen from hundreds of thousands of students across the country by judges in New York. According to her teacher, Mr. Shearing, Jasmine is a dedicated worker who puts a lot of energy into every sculpture she makes, from meticulous planning beforehand to painstaking detail at the end. Jasmine's integrity and value she brings to her work are exceptional. Senior student and soccer standout Ian Bermudez Rivera has signed to play soccer at, for the Oregon Institute of Technology in Clackamas, Oregon. Ian was a first team All Pacific Conference player his senior year. And Coach Porter, the head coach of Oregon Institute of Technology, had this to say about Ian. Ian was one of our first signees for 2020 and is a player that has good feel for the game. He likes to go forward, tackle hard, and is a fierce competitor. He is going to fit into our system right away and we're excited to have him to be a part of our program. Good luck, Ian. Sounds like great things are in store for you. Congratulations to our Liberty Health teachers and students for working together and winning the Create Real Impact Grant for safe driving messages. A $1,000 grant was given to schools with the most student entries. Topping the list of entries was the Liberty High School. When told about the $1,000 Create Real Impact Award, health teacher Lauren Jenkins said, Thank you for a wonderful news. It's been a real trying few days with our staff taking on the crash courses and online learning platforms. The news just gave me chills. Sophomore Kendra Anderson has been kept busy making a difference in the fight against COVID-19. Kendra and her family have made over 300 face masks for healthcare workers. Kendra's mom said it was a wonderful opportunity for us to feel like we were giving back and doing something helpful in a time when we felt helpless. It was really brought in some focus back into our lives about what was important and where our priorities should be. Thanks, Kendra, and your family for making a difference in those who are fighting to protect us. Big Liberty Science shout out to Owen and Grabinsky, Fishy, Christian, and Murray, Will Richards, and Avi Lance, who recently won Northwest Science Expo Awards. Evan won honorable mention in the mathematical science category for his project on machine learning to analyze historical documents for trend data. Fishy, Will, and Avi won third place in the computer science and robotics category for their project creating a differential survey model that could move a machine in any direction without having to turn its body. Rachel Lawberger was recently named the Simpy Fee All-American. The Simpy Fee All-American recognition recognizes the student athletes who are heavily involved in community service, academics, and preserved through life's challenges while maintaining high levels of success. Every Friday night, the Liberty Athletic Fields come on around others in the country at 8.20 p.m., that is 2020 military time, to recognize the graduating students of 2020. And finally, we have a little message from Mr. G. Cue that message. Uh, right there, Cyrus. I want him right there and then zoom out. Uh. Hello, Liberty community. I have some pretty good news for you over here. We are still working with our Sparrow and so, your community service hours still will work. I don't know what you're doing out there as far as community service, but if you're doing anything at all whatsoever regarding helping out your fellow neighbor, anybody around you, that is considered community service and you can still do it. Here's the good news though. You can actually go to their brand new app. It's right there, it looks exactly like that. That is Sparrow Clubs USA. Log in to Liberty and Isaac will pop right up for you. You can send him messages, emojis, etc. Tell him words of encouragement, whatever it is you'd like to. And eventually we're going to have a way 
for you to put those community service hours down onto the papers that we need to send to him and then give them to him at a later date. So be watching for that. Sparrow is still happening. We've already sent $4,000 and we plan to send a whole lot more thanks to our partners at HIS Industries and First Interstate Bank. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Falcons. That has been the good news for the week. I am your host, Ryan Chadwick, and I'll see you all next week. I'll see you on the flippity flop. Uh, uh. Yeah, you really got me going. You got me so I don't know.